YouTube, what is up guys? Today I am extremely excited because not only are we unboxing, building, and reviewing a new 3D printer, but it's also a laser engraver. This is my first laser engraver. It was extremely easy to use. This printer comes mostly assembled. It's all metal construction. This is the SC10 Shark version 2. The 2021 version has just came out. I believe I'm the first YouTuber to be checking out the version 2. It basically is the version 1 with they fixed a bunch of the little kinks and then it comes with all the upgrades already on it. So the auto bed level is already installed. It's right in here. It's not onto the side taking up more space. Everything about this printer is incredible. The touch screen, you can pick it up and move it around. I don't know what to tell you. So let's just get into the full unboxing and review. We're going to time lapse the whole unboxing build first couple test prints and then we'll take some closer looks. Hopefully you guys enjoy the show. Grab a cup of coffee. Let's do this. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed those time lapses. Let me show you a couple quick things that I absolutely love about this machine already. Our prints came out all absolutely amazing. Just with stock settings, no tweaks or anything. Even this lithophane, if you don't know what a lithophane is, lithophane is like a picture that you upload and then to this program, and then it gives you the STL, and when you put it behind a light, it give, you uh, will be able to see the picture. So this is a picture of my dog and my dog's best friend, Hocus. Uh, and just a quick little thing we did there turned out awesome. A lot of people, I've noticed, I've tried to watch other people's reviews on this printer before I got it because I was kind of excited about it. And one thing I noticed is I'm the only person that's got this newer version. So I got the 2021 version and the auto bed level comes already installed in here. It's not on the side here. Uh, like on the old version, which would take up some room on the x-axis. Here it comes already installed. And also too, there's not a single extruder version and a dual extruder. It's just dual extruder. And if you want to just print one color, you just print one color. You know what I mean? You don't have to print in two colors. So there's no point in switching that out. Also too, the old laser would attach on the side here. Now this just pops off. There's a spot you can set it right here in the meantime when you're not using it. Uh, and then this will just mount right where that is. And then with some binding clips, we'll be able to try the laser engraver on there. So we haven't tried that out yet. Uh, oh, overall, so far, really loving this printer. Super impressed with it. Everything is solid metal construction from the extruders, um, both the extruders, literally everything. Like the whole body is all metal. I love the fact that this, I can just pick it up. I have neck problems. So bending over, looking down always hurts. But the touch screen, the fact that you can just like, you know, grab it. And uh, go over here. The auto bed level works super easy. This magnetic sheet makes taking the prints off crazy, crazy easy. It was very easy to ten uh, tension the belt here 
the everything came pretty good. I had to do a little bit of adjustments, but the the wrenches it came with and everything, like it came with like some quality tools. It didn't come with just like cheap tools. So I'm really digging that. So let's do a quick time lapse of me flopping this over to the laser engraver. Let's try out the laser engraver because the printer so far I am blown away by. The dual extrusion did give me extra wires I had to manage. I managed them just by going around here, stuffing them into the extrusion. You can't even tell that there's another wire. So if you're trying to wonder how to manage that wire, do what I did. I put a little tape here and then just shoved it in through the aluminum extrusions. All right, so let's switch it over to a laser engraver and try something I've never done before. All right guys, hopefully you liked the video. Hopefully the video gave this 3D printer slash laser engraver justice. It is 2021 now, every year printers get better and every year I get more and more impressed that the prices of printers seem to go down but the quality seems to get up. And 2021 is no exception. This is without a doubt my new favorite 3D printer, not even close. The only printer I have that you could swap a laser engraver like that on the fly. I love the fact that I can pick this up, that's a game changer. Super, super cool. I love the all metal construction, but I really love the fact I didn't have any failed prints. All these, t I, this video was like this. Usually, these 3D printer videos are they're a nightmare to make. Like a lot of times, they take me weeks. I got this a couple days ago. I'm already done making the video because it did. These prints, they came out amazing. They came out incredible it, with this magnetic thing. They just popped right off. I didn't have any problems with anything sticking. I didn't have to use glue. I didn't have to use hairspray. The prints just worked. Uh, the laser engraver, freaking incredible. Make sure you always wear the safety protection if you're operating it. You can damage your eyes in a snap like that. Instructions. When it comes to 3D printers, usually 3D printers don't even come with instructions. They'll come with like something that's like in terribly translated English on the SD card with like horrible pictures. This is incredible. And all this is also digitally on their on software. I'm very excited that I got the V2. The V2 of this, I, I, I couldn't be happier with. I love the fact that the auto bed level is tucked away in here instead of on the side. I love the fact that just all the upgrades in the V1, you had to have to buy it. And then if you wanted the upgrades, you would add, you'd add them on. Now they just, they just put everything on there for you and they install it really ready to go right out of the box. A little belt tightening um, was all I had to do. And uh, I, I couldn't be happier with this. This was without a doubt the best, <laughs> the, my best 3D printer. I can't stop smiling when I play with this thing. And I, I can't believe 3D printers are getting this good, especially at this price. Uh, this was a Blackhawks one that after I figured out how to use the laser engraver a little bit, here was my first try. On my first try, I got it to work. And this was just an, uh, something that came on the SD card. I had the laser a little too high. I just lowered the laser a little and it printed better. But even the first one worked really good. So super impressed, so, uh, so much fun, and uh, I can't wait to play with it more. It's got all the features like the filament detection set, uh, sensor, it's got all metal extruders, uh, it's got the auto resume if power out, and it really has everything I'd ever want in a 3D printer. The two colors are absolutely amazing. I've, this is the third uh, dual extrusion 3D printer that I've checked out, and this is the only one that I've been able to get amazing results right off the bat with just like the stock profile that came in Cura. I didn't do any alterations, literally default profile. The only thing I changed were like the infill settings and I think in the brim settings, that was it. Everything else I just left it stock. On Cura, if you're printing in two colors, just go into machine settings, switch it to two under uh, extruders. It'll say one extruder. Normally you just switch it to two, ready to go. Bada bing, bada boom. Couldn't be easier. The software was really easy for the laser engraver. Everything comes on the SD card, and I can't, I, there's not a bad thing I can say about this. Usually these videos are like, here are my pros, here are my cons. I literally don't have any cons. This is my favorite 3D printer, hands down. Um, 
no BS. <laughs> As of 2021, this is going to be my go-to workhorse. It can literally do everything. And it's a lot cheaper than most 3D printers. Every year they get better. Every year they get cheaper. Weird how that works. So thank you guys for watching. And hopefully you guys like the video. I'll put the link down below to pick this thing up. And uh, I'm going to keep playing with it. I'll see you guys later. Take care.